dollars. I'm a 30 year old single mom and I'm still looking for my soulmate. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have been through hell and back with dating. Mm -hmm. And I'm so tired of using the dating apps. I'm so tired of doing the same thing and being let down and being disappointed. And so I thought long and hard about this. And I really, really want to hire a matchmaker. Also okay. I literally live in the worst city for dating statistically. And I feel like a matchmaker will be able to weed out the men that are not serious, weed out the men that are not financially stable. And allow the men that are serious about looking for the love of their lives in a long-term relationship and bring them to the forefront and that's exactly what i need now the only thing that's getting in my way is that hiring a matchmaker is actually extremely expensive <laughs> i am a single mom so unfortunately i can't go spend all my money on that and that's why i have created a gofundme account there you go. Let's get <laughs> let's get this GoFundMe. God damn it, damn. Lionel. Are you gonna tap into her GoFundMe so she can find love out here, Lionel? Trying to get a matchmaker, man. Come on, Absolutely dude. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, it's a chop for me. <laughs> a GoFundMe for love. So oh, you know her background. So she's been on TikTok talking about a lot of stuff, right, Mo? Yeah, so this is actually um, from my research. This is the woman who, um, <laughs> it was some time ago, I want to say sometime last year, where she made a video and she was like, oh, like, because she was already known on the internet, on TikTok, talking about that, oh, I just feel like having a white audience is better than a black audience because a white audience at XYZ, she had her reasoning behind why she felt like having a white audience was better as an influencer, as a person on the internet or whatever. And so they was coming at her throat for that, like at the time, as they should, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl. And so um, now she's back again <laughs> on some bullshit and talking about that she's, you know, um, trying to get these funds so she can hire a matchmaker. And honestly, I learned about what the amount was on the GoFundMe. Ooh, now, what's the amount? Since this video has been posted, it has been deleted. Oh. Because so many people were responding to it. Um, she took down the GoFundMe. I think she raised like $105. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> her goal on there was like, I think she says it in the video, I think, where she's I like, it. it was like 8000 God damn, for a matchmaker? Her goal was on the GoFundMe was $8,000. Hold on. How That's lower than I was thinking. I was thinking like fifty. Sixty thousand really? dollars. Really? Because I feel like rich people be buying that shit. I don't think common people be. But getting damn, sixty thousand dollars. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> like, I'm then, it's somebody. motherfuckers out here that are desperate, obviously. So God, it's just damn. the logic is flawed. Because she said she wanted a soulmate, but then she wants a matchmaker. Like matchmakers don't find soulmates, girl. They right. can find so someone to they gonna with find someone to put your ass together with. Right. That's not necessarily gonna like if you want a soulmate, baby, you gotta get in touch with yourself. You have to find it, like follow your soul. Mm -hmm. You I can't mean, just but what if you and your soulmate both go to matchmakers and, and, and they... maybe that can maybe that can happen <laughs> for sure. You're actually right. Right. So maybe if she is being called to do this shit, maybe that is the route she got to take. Really? She's she not can listening make it to the universe. Universe is not telling her to take the route because she can't afford it. <laughs> like, she, not, she missing the little nudges. Like, you need to listen. Like, this ain't for you. Your salt, the universe is saying he's not in there. Like, don't even do it because, no. You out here asking for, like, financial stability. Like, we got the ones that's not financially stable. And then, like, here you are. A single mom potentially trying to spend eight thousand dollars on a matchmaker that you can't afford that you got to create a GoFundMe account for. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it's I, it don't add up. It's just like this shit is crazy. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what to say. But it's like the people have gotten so far besides themselves and so far into like social media and the internet that like they are losing it. Like she's lost it completely. <laughs> That's bold, ain't it? Oh yeah, it's it's bold. Like, he's lost it. <laughs> he's lost it. Back to the fucking baby so father. Like, I don't know what to tell her besides, like, put the phone down, like, just breathe and, like, get back into your body because you're way too out. You're done. Like, bring it back. 
and like ground <laughs> and put your clothes on, go outside, go for a walk in the park, go sit at lunch at a bar by yourself in a nice restaurant or whatever, and like potentially come across somebody. Yes, because she also said, like, I'm so Free. tired of being on the dating apps. Like, girl, literally, like, get off the mat. I, she right. was like, I'm tired of going through the same things. Like, baby, so do something different. Like, right. delete yeah. the apps. Yeah. Let me get off. She said, let me get like, off of Try something different. You don't got to go spend all this money first. Like, just try something a little different. You right. don't got to. I'm like, this is what you came up with. You know, right. She said, let me close this app and up in TikTok. And right. See if I can buy something. Like, please. Like, it's, I'm, it's getting lazy, first of all, to me. Now, this is no <laughs> shot at anybody that's, you know, we actually use in matchmakers. But I also took note of the fact she says she's 30 years old. You're like, you're 30 years old. You're only 30 years old. Like, girl, please. It, it, ain't, it ain't the end. For, I can understand, you know, maybe a little bit older. You know, you, you mid to late, you know, higher up. But 30, you giving up. Like, you just don't care. Like, you don't, you're not putting no effort. And it's clear you aren't because I'm sorry, like, to those who actually frequent dating apps, dating apps ain't it. Okay, like they are absolutely not it. Okay, they like just stay off that shit. You're gonna find more toxic people in your life than you're gonna find some like real quality people. Like that's what she needs to be looking for. But then again, I don't know her. I don't know what type of man she's looking for, but you already done pissed the internet off one time talking about the black dollars ain't worth nothing, basically. <laughs> and now you coming on to ask for them black dollars in the same breath. Girl, bye. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy because all she she don't she clearly didn't do her research, but she said that because Everybody wants these black dollars because we right. make it a lot. Okay. Talk um, I just feel I mean, I can play devil advocate for her and be like, I could see why she would like be trying to find a matchmaker. Because it's like it's like paying for like the dating apps, but actually having somebody there to filter through the shit and to bring suggestions to you knowing exactly what you want because some of these dating apps you could say like i want me a tall nigga and then here come eight short niggas in my shit and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> like i specifically said i want a black tall man six foot five and you bringing me white four foot seven hilarious it's like, it's like <laughs> artificially it's like it's genuinely artificially crafted and that's the gag for me because it's like People, I don't know, people are getting so into this whole thing, like, just buying into the fact that, like, huh, maybe I'll just uh, do this. Like, no, that's, like, if there's nothing else that needs to really be authentic, it's, like, the person that you find to, like, connect with. Like, you know, we can recognize, like, oh, damn, people arranging marriages and shit like that might not equate to the most connected, like, relationship. It, like, may just be transactional and that's it. And then, like, people are taking that arrangement to a whole nother level of having just a random-ass person now say, oh, yeah, this person's good. This will be good for you. Uh -huh. I was, like, based, like, they told me how long they've been working at this job. Like, they got both their parents, you know. Like, it's just, like, that's crazy. You have to really step back and look at that and recognize, like, how artificial it is. Because, I mean, of course, you could maybe find somebody, but, like, that's just, like, wouldn't you want to find somebody in, like, the most authentic way? And like it have a like have the connection no. be based on like you know attraction. That mean a gag. No, yeah, nigga, don't. I, don't, like, actually, I don't care how the nigga come. I want them. Can now. I artificially like, make mine instead? They're right. like, do the first one. Why not the first one? Right. <laughs> because I really can see. I mean, I really I do what you say, Lionel. But it's like for some people, you get to a point in life where it's like I've been trying to find this shit organically for so fucking long. Like I don't know how much longer I could take. You know, like. And what that's what that's what said. I might die. Shit, and bust. never get no motherfucking <laughs> dick. Okay, <laughs> like that damn. Bust. Like I ain't gonna get no, not no dick, but I ain't gonna get no. You know, like that love making. Like oh. some people, and you know, like you get it's because y'all you relationship, so you don't really know like how it is out here. Still, it's like damn. Like these people are getting worse and worse and worse. Sir, like. <laughs> Like these people are, it's just like once you find somebody, it's like you are so fucking lucky that you found your person because, like, I've been out here trying to do the right shit, trying to do it right, and then nothing. So then yeah, I go to the dating right. app. Right. Yeah, yeah, motherfuckers be going through it. Don't be doing shit. It's both sides. You're still like a thorough person. So you just have to have faith that, like, 
you're not the only thorough person on the planet that's single, clearly. So it's just like a matter of like, like we said, you have to switch it up. Like if for, if I were single, hypothetically, like I would really be like, I want to say cliche because clearly people aren't doing it. But like going to like the hotel or like finding someone somewhere that I would potentially want to date someone who like, I would want to date someone that I'd meet at the gym potentially or like at the library or like, you know, in like a cool like little feng shui vibe, like event that I find on like the event website online or something like that. Like, but like putting yourself in certain situations that's like, ah, this is kind of the kind of a person I would want to deal with. Like, not just coming across any old body or somebody from like the club or a bar, like that's just like a, a pub or like a dive bar. Like, that's probably like lowers your chances because how serious is anybody that's at a pub or a dive bar right now trying to date? Like, you have to just go like to like the Me? hotel bar, <laughs> go to the hotel bar instead and like <laughs> spark conversation or go to like instead, like go to Whole Foods. Oh, I'm like, like, I was just yeah. talking about I need to go to uh, somewhere like Home Depot or like right. home and look confused and just be right. like, <laughs> Can you like right. go to yeah. I'm looking for this. Right. <laughs> and now I, right, feel, I mean, I went, I done been to the coffee shop, but I ain't meet nobody. Like, well, yeah, you're not not like to, but you were trying to force it. it. Like, so, yeah, I think and I don't know, because when it comes to, like, the artificial, like, the online dating, and I don't know if I would ever, like, want to get to a matchmaker, because for me, but of course it comes down to, like, different people's mindsets, like, but if I'm just not finding somebody right now, then I'm just not supposed to be with somebody right now, and, like, when it comes to her, she's saying she's, like, a single mom, she's 30, like, Baby, focus that love on you and your child. Like, give right. give that love that you're like trying to like <laughs> give it to your child for sure. Hey, mama got a life too. God damn it, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> baby boy. No, and I feel that for sure. And once you're making sure like all those things are in line, like if you're sure like things are truly aligned for you, like you're actually giving the love to yourself that you would like to receive. And um, you're able to pour that out to others. I don't think, and I think one of the like most important things I've like been learning this year is truly like how important friendship and family love is too. Like that romantic love is so good, right? The things that you share with a partner. But I've really just been realizing like the love you get from your friends is very much important and kind of more stable and lasting can be. So you can't discount the love that are coming from other places. And once you start like being in that love and you are love, you're going to attract love because that's just how. There we go. Let me works. snap it up. Let me snap it up for that. I agree. And then dating apps like ain't shit. And I, it took me to like actually get my ass up off the motherfuckers to really see like, Wow. Life is so much better when I'm not on this <laughs> shit. Like, the grass is greener on this side. Like, Hilarious. these motherfuckers was not lying. Because my friend told me, like, it'd be toxic people on there, all that shit. I'm like, no. I'm defending, like, no, no, no. The and most I do feel like I met some good people on there, but. Niggas be broken them bitches. Better. Niggas be broke on there. I don't, I don't <laughs> like they be broke. They be short. They hiding shit. Like, something is just not going for them. It's <laughs> just like, no. Yeah, they be on it's, their line. Yeah, like it's it's a no, like it's yeah, you're it's better a off in the it's long a run. Yeah, line you're niggas better off it. not knowing the niggas on them. Mm. It'd be very, very few truth ter- tellers on that motherfucker, but it's a whole bunch of liars. No, so there, was some time, there was some times I met like some cool niggas, like one of my favorite, like one of my favorite, like ex niggas I used to fuck with. And uh, he actually hit me up and he was asking me if I still be on dating apps because I met, met his ass. I think I met him on Tinder. And like, this was like years ago, back when I was like, you know, really on that shit. But I was like, nigga, I do not. It's crazy that you even think I'd still be on shit like that. And that just goes to show. He was like, ah, yeah. No, but I was telling him, I was like, nigga, you was just so ain't shit. Cause he always be like, you know, be talking about be, I dogged his ass or whatever. Like I wouldn't be his girlfriend or some shit. I'm like, nigga, you literally weren't on shit. You could could not be my nigga. Like he was not even. Where could be I'm, all I have to say is that my like, cause I used Tinder a long time ago, and that Uh-oh. was one of my, that was one of my most toxic relationships. 
Uh, hold on. So time out. So all of y'all, but that, that everybody was found love on, on, on these Wait, hold on. Lives. I didn't say that, all that. I said it was the most toxic You got in a relationship. Yeah, I don't mean I was in love. I was young. Okay. Oh, now oh. you was young. Okay, here we go. I said that. I, I no. never claimed I was in love. I was just in a relationship. No, okay. Y'all, but y'all live together though. Yeah, man, that was a mistake. We didn't know that. Oh. Now you know. Wow. Like that. That. <laughs> <laughs> not you know exactly who you are. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> you know exactly. Maybe, who's maybe remember it shit and keeping it for <laughs> no, like I had to go through that. Lesson, though. Like that was a real lesson I had to learn. See? Like real shit. I so that's why I don't. I would never be back on a, on a dating app. Like ever since then, I've never.